Hello friends, my name is Palashyan Dadashana and I would like to welcome uh, to my new video re related to regulations and guidance uh, on biological indicators. Well, today I will be talking about uh, the regulations regarding the EU and FDA. Please be with me and uh, watch this video uh, till end. I will give you some tips and tricks regarding the audits, what are the questions auditor may ask and you should ready uh, with your validation package whenever you are in front of auditor. So please be with me and enjoy this session. So before going ahead with my um, presentation i would like to request you all to subscribe my channel press pharmaceutical resource and education services and please uh, press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming videos thank you very much friends so friends let's understand regarding the biological indicator a biological indicator is a well characterized preparation of a specific microorganism with a known resistance to a specific sterilization process. So here friends, lots of information provided in this phrase uh, need to be need your attention to understand. A biological indicator is well characterized preparations. It is well characterized preparations of a specific microorganism with a known resistance. I'm talking about the value to a specific sterilization process. So, based on the process, this BI are generated and they are nominated. There are at least three different categories of biological indicator we can able to see first one i will talk about spore that added to a carrier and then package to maintain the integrity of inoculated carrier so now i'm talking about this we can we can see this is the inoculated one and which is packed within the primary packaging so this blue one uh, is the packaging second is suspension which uh, in turn can be inoculated directly into unit to be sterilized again this is the spore suspension you can directly pipette it out and put your solutions and wherever you just want to inoculate the amount of spores you need to decide and based on that you need to do this process this is spore suspension third one self-contained bi which are designed so that the primary package contains the growth medium for recovery of the process expose spores so here you can see this is the paper one you can see the paper so once the cycle is done you need to disrupt this the glass one inside by pressing from the both the side so which contains the media and you need to incubate and this is ampules this is capsules again directly you can uh, inoculate to your products and after completion of the sterilization cycle uh, you need to directly incubate those uh, capsules and you will get the result after incubation period so, so um, the result i didn't explain that it will change its color uh, so different colors are specified by the different vendor and that signifies whether you found a growth and no growth obviously uh, when you are going for a qualitative approach for quantitative approach you can check you can you can enumerate and you can check how many spores are alive and how many or uh, completely 
plus spores are killed. The test organism used for the steam sterilization is uh, Bacillus, uh, Geobacillus we talk about, Stereothermophilus because of its higher resistance and consistent inactivation kinetics. So that is the most popular one, uh, but you can use different uh, choice of the biological indicator based on your process, risk assessment and um, validation strategy. Now friends, um, we'll be talking about uh, UNXR1 draft requirements. They're talking about suitable BI placed at appropriate locations may be considered as an additional method to support the validations of the sterilization process. So here I will indicate the appropriate locations may be considered as an additional method to support the validation of the sterilization process. BI should be stored and use according to the manufacturing instruction. Next one is very important to be here, store and uses, right? The temperature and the handling process mentioned by the vendor need to be followed strictly. Where the BI are used to support validations and or uh, to monitor the installation process, uh, positive control should to be tested for installation cycle again this point i will uh, like to recommend positive control need to be tested whenever you are designing a cycle qualifying or verifying a installation process if bis are used strict precautions should to be taken to avoid transferring microbial contaminations to the manufacturing or other testing process so there is a chance of contaminations when you will be handling this BI in your process or it may be damaged somewhere or in the QC lab when it will be used for testing or incubation. So you should to be double sure about the contamination risks of this all uh, shut off uh, manipulation what we do uh, into the QC lab. So contamination control, I will say here the important terminology. BI result in isolations do not give assurance of the sterilization and should not be used to overwrite other critical parameters and process design elements. Uh, going forward with the UNXR1 requirements. The reliability of BI is important. Supply should to be qualified and transportation and storage condition should to be controlled in order to in order uh, the BI quality is not compromised. So here important terminology supplier qualifications. Uh, you should double shoot about the transport transportations and you should you should understand the storage condition uh, you know does not alter during the transportation condition it's not hold in your warehouse for long time before it delivered to the qc it's not hold to the custom clearance if you are getting something from the outside right so those are the aspect you should understand Peter, to use of new batch a lot of the ba the population and the identity of the indicator organism bachelor should be verified so here we are talking about uh, initial qualifications of the uh, new lot so new lot qualification you're talking about here for other critical parameters like d value z value and batch certifications provided by the qualified supplier and normally be used you don't really require to be uh, re-verified the d value z value and all those things you can rely upon the vendor CUA. So friends, let's move uh, to September 2004. Uh, aseptic uh, guidance provided by FDA. Let's see what they have mentioned. Biological indicator, a population of microorganisms inoculated into a suitable medium uh, like solution, container, closer and placed with appropriate cell as a load locations to determine the sterilization cycle efficacy of a physical or chemical process. The challenge microorganism is selected based upon the resistance to the given process. 
upcoming lot d value and microbiological count define the quality of bi right so that's how we uh, qualified new lot to understand the population of the spore count and d value the specific load configuration as well as biological indicator and temperature sensor location should be documented in validation record so it's very important to have biological indicator record and temperature sensor locations so uh, if is there any failure during the simulation cycle you just able to identify which locations you are getting the wrong results it not only you should mention uh, the biological indicator it's properly you know level so when it will be go for the testing in the QC even they can able to recognize which number of biological indicator is getting failed so from that you can able to correlate the location of the sterilizer or load uh, which is beneficial for investigations it also should be noted that the resistance of microorganism can vary widely depending on the material to be sterilized for this reason careful consideration should to be given during the sterilization validation to the nature or the type of material chosen as a carrier of the biological indicator to ensure they appropriately represent the study so friends here so if you want to ensure the surface of ss so your bi can be enumerated on the ss surface if you are going to sterilize or if you are going to demonstrate something on the glove surfaces so your bi can be enumerated on the glove surface so appropriately uh, the surface the carrier can be choose potentially difficult to reach location within the sterilizer load or equipment train should to be evaluated for example filter installation in piping can cause a substantial pressure differential across the filter resulting in a significant temperature drop on the downstream side here what i am indicated with a with a marker so we recommend placing the biological indicator appropriate downstream location of the filter so if it is a biological indicator it should to be appropriately put to the downstream of the filter rather than putting on the surface the placement of biological indicator at numerous position in the load including the most difficult to sterilize places is a direct means of confirming the efficacy of any sterilization process in general the biological indicator should be placed adjacent to the temperature sensor so as to assess the correlation between the microbial lethality and predict the lethality based on the thermal input so friends it is recommended to place your biological indicator and the thermal sensor nearby so you just able to understand regarding the penetration temperature of any kind of article what you have placed in the sterilizer and you can correlate if is there any failure in future the microbial count of biological indicator should to be confirmed biological indicator should to be stored under appropriate conditions even uh, we talk this two uh, requirement in annex 1 as well uh, same requirement if the reliability of a vendor certificate of analysis is established through a appropriate qualification program the d value of the biological indicator sports strips glass ampules can be accepted in lieu to confirm the testing of each lot uh, we talk about vendor qualification in annex 1 and verifying new lot or batch so common requirement here again However, a determination of the D value should be performed for any biological inoculated into a substrate or used in a way that the other than described by the vendor.
this value determination can be conducted by a independent laboratory. So as per our process, if we are going to consider the inoculation the way we want, which does not demonstrated by the vendor or we are not directly using the ready to use or uh, self content BI, so it may require we need to understand uh, the D value of of, of the solution or of the component where we have inoculated uh, the sport suspensions. So uh, we'll see a few questions as a part of FDA sterile drag process inspections. So they are talking about if biological indicator were used during validation run, type of indicator need to be identified. So uh, it's maybe a sport trips, inoculated product or ampule, source of indicator, marker organism used uh, including the concentration and the devalue so where bi used in a end point or count reduction mode right if any positive bi are found when not expected what is the farm response so these are the questions you should ready uh, whenever any auditor is looking your sterilization process and you have any failure or you are just trying to demonstrate your process you should ready with all those questions thank you friends thanks for your attention so hopefully you have liked this session on biological indicator uh, if you have any questions or if you want some video in other subject as well please recommend please write to me uh, on the youtube channel in the comment box thank you very much take care